Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Bubba Wallace's Dr. Pepper Fan Vote car from 2021. As always, take a quick look at the box. Got your typical Bubba Wallace box. Picture of Bubba right there. Bubba Wallace, number 23, 2311 Racing. Bubba Wallace down the side, 2311 Racing. Got to render the car right there. Standard finish. Made a total of 504 of these things. 2311, standard finish, number 23. Got the same stuff on the back of the box. 2021 Action Racing Collectibles, 23. And you, of course, have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Bubba Wallace raced this car at Road America on the 4th of July weekend. This is one of those that was, you know, pieced together designed. It was a very odd idea because they would, like, post, like, okay, pick the design you want from the side out of four choices. Okay, now pick the roof. Okay, now pick the hood. And then it's okay, now pick the back bumper. So it led to a kind of, like design that's a little bit messy around but at the same time it's kind of cool and you know i just love the hood like i bought this almost entirely just because of the hood because that is hilarious i mean even dr pepper being back in the sport is funny it's like as soon as a new 23 car popped up dr pepper just like appears out of the shadows and it's just like we'll sponsor you but it is really good to have dr pepper back in the sport because like I, I love i've said before but i love sponsors that you can recognize and support like if you're a bubba wallace fan you can go into you know anywhere and pick up a nice can of dr pepper for yourself like it's a recognizable brand and it's a brand you can support easily i said i've never been a fan of like so we have so many sponsors nowadays that are just like banks and mortgage companies and random ass tech companies you'll never hear of you've never heard of and after they're in the sport for like three years you'll still kind of forget they were a thing but so it's sponsors like this are fun which, for some reason, I'm, the Dr. Pepper cars DNP a lot for some reason. I've never really understood that. Like, this year, they ran that, he was, he ran that uh, cream soda Dr. Pepper car at Vegas, and that car dnp Like, I was going to buy that. He ran that cool, like, was it, like, Dark Berry car in the All-Star race? That one they didn't even offer? I don't know. He even ran an Xfinity 18 car with Dr. Pepper on it this year. But anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Dr. Pepper, established 1885. Got a picture of Bubba drinking a Dr. Pepper right there with some cans of Dr. Pepper floating on like angel wings when some pixelated hearts. I said that was just hilarious. As soon as that one won, I'm like, I'm probably buying this diecast. <laughs> Got Toyota Camry number 23 and 2311 racing. Does actually have the windshield wiper because it was a road course car. That's cool. So they don't usually put that on very many clean die cast they're starting to do it more and more now which i like but so that was a rare thing except for race versions before on the back you have dr pepper established 1885 got doordash and mobile one down there got root insurance and columbia in front of the rear wheel nothing on the c post on the b post you have toyota DraftKings, mac tools and 2311 is there supposed to be a sponsor in between DraftKings and mac tools on there i'll have to look at a photo of the car because that looks kind of weird there's a big gap there i wonder if there's a sponsor they couldn't get or not Anyways, has your regular contingencies and such up front. On the back, you have Toyota Camry XSE. Got a Dr. Pepper logo and Eat My Bubbles. That's also really funny. Got a McDonald's logo on the deck lid. Got one Dr. Pepper logo on the roof. That looks kind of stupid, to be honest. But it's because the 23, you know, is tilted that way. So they couldn't fit another one there. But I don't know. It just looks weird to shove a little Dr. Pepper logo right there. I feel like you would have, at that point, just not put one on the roof. But whatever. This is number 287. Got the same stuff down the other side. They did also give this the right side fuel port for Road America. So that's pretty cool. Let's take a look under the hood. Got Mobile One, Toyota, and Wix filters under there. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously, no deck lid. The roof flaps, of course, do open. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. Here is this car next to the NASCAR Authentic from the Shitty Mold Wave, which Lionel did say was going to be the last time we got a Shitty Mold Wave, but uh, we got a new one. <laughs> Stay tuned for that video, because that's going to be a fun one for anyone who likes rant reviews. But uh, I do enjoy their logic of uh, last time when, when that wave came out, they were like, oh, we just had to get this wave out. Don't worry, we're never using this mold again. And I guess that was because they're never using the Gen 6 shitty mold again. But now, now they made a next-gen shitty mold. So it's a different mold, so they weren't lying. I don't know, but whatever. Save that for that video. But, I mean, you can see just how, you know, bad the colors are on this one compared to the real car. I don't know if I pointed this out in the video when I did this viewer wave review. But uh, 
for some reason, this actually has a NASCAR Cup Series playoff logo on the right side. Not on the left side, but on the right side, it has a Cup Series playoff logo. That's just hilarious. Like, that just really encapsulates everything about the shitty factory. That somehow they had a playoff car, a playoff logo on a car that ran on the 4th of July. And it's not like it's a, it's not like anyone assumed Bubba Wallace was going to make the playoffs last year. Like, I don't think anyone expected that from a brand new team. So why was this even ever on the car? Was this supposed to run really late in the year and they changed it or what? But I said I wanted to point that out. But anyways, I said you probably saw a lot of this car in waves because, uh, or I mean in stores, just because this wave peg warmed hard as was as is, but especially this car was just like piled up high at every store. So you have plenty of opportunities to buy this car if you wanted the 164, but it is the crappy factory. So at this point, just get the 124 or the, you know, regular gold series 164. This car came out a few months ago. It's not a completely brand new release anymore, but it didn't get rare or anything. It's a pretty easy car to get still, so if you want it, you can easily pick it up. And for all of your diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com, and if you use the code BWAC, you get $5 off shipping on any order over $30. Let's go check that out if you want anything. But I think that's all there is to say. This has been a review of Bubba Wallace's Dr. Pepper Fan Vote Toyota from 2021. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.